Because most areas to be thinned are a good distance from roadside, a variety of spare parts for the clearing saw should be on hand. Extra pull cord, throttle spring, carburetor, and throttle cable are just a few of the many parts that should be in your tool pouch. A daily and weekly maintenance schedule should be followed to prolong saw life, avoid breakdowns, and ensure safe operation. Here are some of the most common daily inspections. Check and clean the carburetor air filter. If the filter is dirty, then replace it. The best way to clean the filter is with hot, soapy water. Check for cracks in the blade by tapping the blade and listening for a pinging sound. If the blade is cracked, then there is no ping. Wear gloves when you have to change a blade. Hold the saw's tube between your legs and with your left hand. Use the proper wrench and turn clockwise to remove the nut. Once the nut and blade is removed, clean the area behind the blade. Yeah, a little bit there. Then install the replacement blade, taking note of the arrow that shows the direction in which the blade travels. The blade nut is then tightened counterclockwise. Check the knuckle gear for a proper amount of lubrication. This is done by removing the knuckle gear plug. Use the proper tool and remove the plug from the blade guard side, thus protecting hands if the tool slips. Once the plug is removed, add the proper grease to the gear case and be sure not to overfill. Reinstall the plug from the blade guard side, once again protecting hands. Finally, give a visual and physical inspection of the entire saw, checking bolts and screws for tightness. Some of the most common weekly inspections are as follows. Remove and check the spark plug. If you mix gas and oil properly, then the plug electrode should be light brown in color. Remove the engine casing and clean the engine cooling fins. If these fins are plugged, the engine will run hot. Remove and check the starter cord assembly. Clean the area completely to ensure proper operation. Consult your owner's manual for more detailed instructions on all maintenance procedures. To make the saw work at top performance, the blade should be kept sharp at all times. A sharpened blade results in fast, easier and smoother cuts. It also helps prevent kickback. To make a filing stump, you first clear around the area. Cut a tree approximately 10 centimeters in diameter to waist height. Then, with the blade in a vertical cutting position and holding the tube, make a downwards cut into the stump deep enough to hold the blade firmly. Wear gloves and use both hands. File the sawtooth at an angle of approximately 17 degrees. 
Only file in a forward motion on every second tooth. This procedure is then repeated for the other side of the blade. Blades should be sharpened at every second gas fill-up, more often if the blade comes in contact with rocks. Even new blades have to be sharpened before use. When setting the blade, use the correct end of the setting tool and place it just behind the cutting edge. Press to the center of the blade in one motion and do not repeat. Do both sides of the blade, then turn the blade clockwise to the next tooth. Blade setting is usually done three times over the life of the blade, beginning with the initial installation. When finished, always check the blade nut and replace if worn out. When your saw works good mechanically, and the blade sharpened and properly set, work is safer and safety is always first. A very important part of clearing saw operation is harness adjustment. A properly adjusted harness results in a well-balanced saw. A full gas tank should be used while adjustment takes place. Time, I'll just check. The hook should be approximately 10 to 15 centimeters below the hip joint. This distance may vary according to operator size. Check, check it. Yeah, okay, let's go to the band hook. And the hook should be fair with the seam of your paint. Yeah, when you finish adjusting, the hook should be fair with the seam of your paint. Okay, put this all on. You see. The harness should distribute the weight of the saw evenly on both shoulders. If one shoulder seems to be supporting all the weight, then adjust the shoulder straps until both are equal. The handles should be adjusted so that your elbows are at an angle between 120 and 130 degrees. Your wrists should be straight when saw is stationary. Use a marker, draw a straight line down your wrist, then adjust the handles until the wrist is straight. Your arms should be an equal distance from your body on both sides. and when balanced properly, the saw blade should be parallel to and approximately 30 to 40 centimeters above the ground. A saw balanced properly will make work easier and more efficient.